Hello, I'm Malcolm McCauley, physical therapist in Duluth, Minnesota, developer of the Lightspeed Lift Bodyweight Support System, and we're here with tips and tricks on using the Lightspeed Bodyweight Support System. Today's topic is over speed training. Now, speed in every activity is kind of that ultimate thing, and part of it is genetics. You have to be born to fairly fast parents in order to run fast. But there's a lot of work around developing the ability to run faster because it's a combination of being able to deliver power to the ground at the right angle with the right timing in order to propel you faster. And the other part of that is being able to get your foot back down to the ground so you finish one cycle and then you have to get your foot back down to the ground again. So powerful explosive hitting the ground in the right position with your body at the right angle and then returning your foot to the ground. Tons of tricks to develop speed and power. I guess power is the ultimate term there. Uh, you know, sled pulls, all kinds of things, but to improve your ability to, to move your legs faster when they're in the air, I think is an unknown territory. We'll see people towing, you're actually being towed behind a, a car with a bungee, or running downhill, and those are both decent techniques, but really the person that's being towed or that's running downhill, the mechanics change significantly, and we end up leaning back a little bit and almost hitting the brakes in order to control our speed or having trouble to go really the ultimate speed because you don't want to end up on your nose and getting burned. So two ways that light speed lift has been used to improve the speed. Number one, about four years ago, I had a chance to get my hands on a high speed treadmill produced by Tough Tread. And this machine was about four and a half feet wide six feet long, weighed about a thousand pounds, and would go 30 miles an hour, and would go uphill at a 30 degree angle. Amazing thing, when you powered up that maybe in the gym, it was a jet engine taking off. We got together a group of athletes from University of Minnesota Duluth, and asked them if they wanted to participate. It was a football player, a soccer, a couple of soccer players, I think. We even had a hockey player on there. And hockey players are notoriously challenged, I guess, for moving their legs in the right sprinting pattern. Every one of them came through the experience running faster. We had challenged recruiting people because the strength coach involved was worried about athletes blowing out their hamstrings, because when you start to move the legs that much faster, that's a big problem. So we certainly did some drills ahead of time to make sure the hamstrings were good. We worked on form. And at the end of, oh, I guess the fastest we got any of the athletes up to was 27 miles an hour uh, for a high school athlete, and he was able to earn a Division I scholarship as a defensive back. Huge thing decreased his 40 time by three tenths of a second. Had to learn good sprint mechanics. But let me just show you some, some usage of the system, the high speed system. Watch the mechanics. And I think the biggest factor we have here is that the participants felt that they were safe. They could push themselves beyond what they normally might try and run because they knew they weren't gonna fall on their nose and they were being held in the correct position. So if you'll notice here in our, in our first one, we've got the athlete that's running, well, Zach is a, is a running back, and he's just playing fast. So it's fun to see him going. We've got soccer players running along. We've got some, the hockey player running along. We've got your recreational runner just running along. And you can see in all of these people that their form is good, they're able to get, get things moving faster, and actually they get the core work that they need because really the core is a tremendous part of being able to return that leg quickly. So you'll see sprinters having the best cores of any athletes. 
The other way that we've used light speed lift then is with a curved treadmill. Now curved treadmills have been around for about eight years, but only very recently, and to be honest, I think Lightspeed was probably the first system that's really used it seriously for overspeed training. The deal is when you get on a curved treadmill, it's you're a little bit of unstable, and as you slow down, there's a sense that you might fall off this. Again, there's that limitation that people put on themselves of, if I run any faster, I might fall on the nose. Well, the body weight support takes that away, and the one thing the athlete has to concentrate on is running fast. So you can see some videos here of Bud, the athlete, running fast, changing direction actually, going through some proprioceptive action where he has to catch a ball, turn and go, just shuffling along, but he is totally supported on this so that the only thing he has to worry about is the mechanics of running fast. And doing that on a curved treadmill puts one in, I think, an ideal position because there's really a tendency to lean forward, get those hips underneath the shoulders, uh, to use Earl Wenk's term, stacking the hips, and really get a powerful movement going. The other video that you see here of the curve in action, uh, we actually removed the uprights so that you could do a good uh, kinematic analysis, gait analysis from both the side and the back and the front and really show the athlete how their mechanics were working. So, many opportunities to use light speed lift for overspeed training. If you have access to a treadmill that goes, I don't know, 18 miles an hour at least, you can really work on some quickness with athletes and get their mechanics down. If you happen to have one that goes 30, you can put terror in their hearts. If you have a curved treadmill, I think the mechanics and the, uh, the actual physical setup is the most natural run and you can get the metrics on that quickly. We've run drills where we've got three athletes, all with shorts on, they can make that change, do their sprint training, get back on the belt so that you can run a good number of athletes through. That's tips and tricks. Overspeed training, the holy grail of track and field and sports. Remember to subscribe to the Lightspeed channel, send us comments, and stay tuned for more tips and tricks on using body weight support, specifically the light speed lift system.